Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. You got Harris, you got Justin. It, can't wait to get right into this. This is episode 16 of moving. Yep, that's right. Like Harris said, can't wait to get right into this. Last episode was like the calm before the storm. We came back to the present and now we are setting up for this epic final battle. It looks like between North Korean uh, super powered people and South Korean super powered people. Oh yeah, we had the revelation kind of of uh, like a new character. Um, what, the, from the North Korea, Junhua, I believe. Yeah, so we never and, got uh, his name. We just saw it on the subtitles. I don't know if we're supposed to know it or not, but we never actually yeah. got his name announced out loud. But yeah, like Harry yeah, said, Junhua. He's the, the Dusik of North Korea. He yeah. Floats. He flies. And his target is Hisu. So I yes. I think this is set up to like kind of make Bumsock learn how to fly, like accelerate his progress because they're going to need help. I don't think the two of them can take on this trained ex experienced assassin yeah. it looks like i don't think electric man is going to do frank one shot it <laughs> he's yeah. no help he's no help well you either need to get juan or i don't even know if mihun could help to be perfect we, do, we need juan but i he's... well mihun has a gun you can just shoot the damn guy in the head right i mean no, but he might be able to like you know zoom around we saw do sick was super fast remember what people were shooting at yeah. him in that episode 12 so sure and we we also don't know if he has multiple powers like maybe he has another one that we don't know about well i'll assume mm -hmm. one though because it seems like most people have one as we now found out in the show it's like the way like i assume people had multiple powers but it's just applications of their yeah. existing power which is cool uh, a little sidetrack but yeah, we have that kind of set up, and then we have this big brawl at the school going to be set up between some secret service people from the NIS with Il Hwan, and then the security guard, we think, we North Korean, like we mentioned, and then whatever Soyman's dad is. I still don't know who he's working for, but yeah, uh, I feel like that's going to be revealed later on. And yeah, we'll see if we actually get some real fighting this episode, but I'm excited. Yep, I'm excited as well. Um, if you've been liking moving, be sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then we have the Patreon, as always, where we have the full episodes, and you could see shows and movies that have not made it to YouTube yet. So, as always, it is in the description box down below if you would like to join us. And uh, let's check out this episode 16. Police. Oh, is that where he was going? Police. Okay. 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 Yo, he's gonna get fired after this, though. He will, yeah. He might get arrested. Hey, you did good. You saved them. You're gonna get fired, maybe arrested, but you did a good thing. And he's gone. He flew wow. away. He flew away. Great Ilhuan backstory? I'm about to say, yeah, what? Eight years ago. Oh, was he was there when Juwan? Oh. Hmm. Yep, and then that's when he became the guidance counselor. The man. And okay, the, he's the man between them, like the the next generation and Mr. Min. He's like the middleman, basically. And then this is where he started observing. So did he know about him? And did he like save Gado? Because he was like, I don't think you could be good in this program. And did he just not report him to Mr. Min? He got attached. He got attached to Gado. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, so the principal set this up so that we could test his powers. Yeah, this this training is too much. Yeah. Those kids could have died. Okay, so this is when he saw he was unqualified. Her daughter about to pull up? Oh, uh, Naju? Yeah. Yeah, yep, okay. And then she probably failed too. Oh, good God. Wait, what? How does being able to see through things let you do that? 
Yeah, he probably nice. saw you, he's like, this is just some regular kid, right? I just want them to be a kid. So he, he, he definitely got attached. I think so too. How many fingers am I holding up? Zero. Wow. Yeah, okay, she found out. She turned it down. So she has heightened physical abilities. So she has two powers too. Who's that? Maybe something freak accident. Oh! Oh, she hurt herself. They fa she faked her death? Ooh. Okay, that's why that Whoa. guy said he she died. Because she actually did die. It was just fake. That's how they got okay. Whoa. Was that is that dead ass or was that like I, I'm not you, not I'm you fake the death? I'm starting to think it's real. So maybe that girl we saw in the earlier episode, like episode four, I think, was somebody else. So I he just fell in love with teaching, I think. Just teaching kids in general. I think that's what this is showing. He has happiness through teaching. Hmm. No, yeah, he became he became a teacher. Yep, yeah, 2013. 2012, yeah. 2013. 2014. Oh my god. What in the fuck? <laughs> well, what power does he have? But he's supposed to make holes? He did make a- he did make a hole! Dude, your power kinda sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gotta get a <laughs> What the fuck? To make a hole? Alright, let's see yours, but- What is the Whoa. fuck? Flexible man. Ah. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Bro, this guy froze time! Oh, hell. Oh, my God. Oh, he's coming back. Young Chuck. I, I'm gonna remember that name. Yeah, okay. Whoa. I, that guy's power. There's gotta be a season two, man. That's why they brought this guy, because he wasn't doing anything. He wasn't delivering any. Like, I see. I see. Results and shit. So they brought someone's dad. And he brought him in because Sniffer brought in Gang Hoon this year. Because that's why he knows they have talent. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I think our guy is getting a backstory because he's dying. I think Mihun actually believed that he cared. I think that's why she asked, when did you become a teacher? Like, when did you, I guess, change? Like, when were you not an agent? I wasn't sure what she meant by that question, but I think that's what she meant. <laughs> He's probably thinking, like, wait, this guy is this, this guy's kid? son? <laughs> yeah, he's looking at him, he's like, wait a second. Like, what the fuck? Okay, uh -oh. here we go. Hello! Oh no, he did go here. Oh, oh he, he went from there. Now he, they, this is the first meeting! Oh shit! And she's gonna know! Wait, that's Hisu's dad? Look at him! And she, oh my god! Oh my god! Did she call him suck? Dispose of the... Okay. Yep. They have to recognize each other. Yeah, they, they definitely do. CCTV. Yep. I think she left the phone in there for him. Bro, I'm tense! Where are the North Koreans? That's what I want to know. Oh, here they are. What? This guy's gonna die. 
Oh, damn. Okay. That was quick. Oh, God. I think the charger is how Bungie Man is going to find them because he can get the memories when he takes the charger and be like, wait, true. they went there. True. Oh god, yep. That that's that's why we got the Jaman episode, because he could put it together. No other yep, that's what we said. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was watching him. Which was obviously the principal. She heard that. She heard that. Yeah, he was there. Like we said, like he was oh with. Oh my god. He was with him. Wait, was he the guy that Juwan, remember, took the bullet for? Oh, he took the bullet for him. Oh my god. Oh, I, how do we not I... see this? Well, they made it good because he was all camoed up. Like, you can't really yeah. tell. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was him. Yeah. Yeah. And he took the grenade. Yep. Yep. And he saw Juwan in action. Oh, so yep. when he saw Hisu's, like, file, he's like, oh, my God. I want to make sure, like. Yeah. She's safe. She's safe, yeah. Which, why makes more sense, like, why he was helping her out so much in the beginning. It's like, why you help? I just got here. I just transferred to the school. Oh, my God. Did she just hide? But the lights are on. No, oh. she's she just saying I'm cleaning. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This shit's about to go down. Where's the body? Yeah, and the blood. She can see the blood on... Is that his body? Yeah, his body's right there. Yep. The reflection. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. Oh shit. What are you doing back at the Oh what my the god. Fuck? Streamer Dude. girl. This is the this is one this one's the real villain, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go again. Tell him to come when we call. What? Bro, secret weapon? What the hell is in there? So there's five? The four plus the trunk, so there's six of them. Oh, yeah. Well, we know this, this dude's one. Yeah, uncanny this one. strength. Yep, yeah, this is the one that uh, Juwan fought. Yeah, okay. I think John Mon is gonna fight him. It's gonna be 1v1 with those two. And then I have no idea what the other three are, obviously. And what the hell is in the trunk? What? The guy from Split? Yeah, the beast? What is in <laughs> the there? The beast? No. That's it? No! Oh, God. Oh, my God. Like two episodes in a row where just like we're in that school, shit's about to go down, and we just didn't even progress a little. No, we progressed a little bit, but we, we did. Like I felt like the episode flew by. Like we got a lot of stuff to happen. Like this episode, like a lot of it was about getting the Il Juan backstory. To be perfectly yeah. honest, and then, like you said, we kind of just stayed at the school. But yeah, honestly, the show like kind of like bringing back all these things together now, right? Il Juan was the guy who was with Juwan, and then. Kind of came full circle and he ended up teaching his daughter why now we know why he was so kind of protective of her i think in the beginning right it was helping her out so much because everyone's just everyone's just like you gotta pay like real close attention because some things will just like come back in the future and i'm like dude i'm trying right and it's just like i would have never gotten this <laughs>
not I mean, good writing. It's like all these little things that it's set great up. Writing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, th these people are like saying that because they watched it. Right? Yeah, and I they know, like, they know not watching. They already it back, know obviously. what happens. Yes. So I feel like you, it's unfair to say that yeah. to us, right? Yeah. This is like first time watching it. Yeah. So like, come on. Like we try to pick up on stuff. Obviously, if you watched our other stuff, and sometimes we I wildly sometimes we miss. get things wrong. But sometimes we hit. We do hit. Sometimes we do hit. Yeah. And, I, I, I'm just gonna say like, let's 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 let's, let's relax a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, don't don't don't, don't kill us too bad for thinking that uh, Mr. Yoon or Agent Yoon was with North Korea. After that, like we it we our our, our original guess was that mm. he was with Mr. Min. Remember, like before yeah. we got the backstory and stuff. But I guess the we didn't realize that the reason that Il Juan and him were like uh, opposed to each other was because he's kind of he was like there to be a spy for him. Basically, that's why he was brought yeah. in. And as we found out this episode. Um, we still don't know what he was there for because he said I didn't even get to do and then died. So we have no idea what that was because he clearly had a purpose and then they killed him. So I don't know if that's mm -hmm. like an Easter egg for a foreshadowing moment in the future or what that's going to be. Um, but yeah, going back to Ilhuan's backstory, like we kind of got like, like we said, how he got there. We also kind of did like a little speed run through, like there are multiple people with powers. It's not like a, something that's um, like, it is, it is rare, but it's, there is a decent amount, right? Like there was like this guy, like a little screamer who can make small holes and <laughs> the, the flexible man. Um, but I think that was trying to show that like those were kind of like fodder. But th there was one. There was yeah. one that was OP as shit. Um, the stop time. Young Tuck. Kim Young Tuck, I think, was his name. That's what I have written mm -hmm. down here. And the stop time with the figures. That dude, if there is a season two, I, is, I am convinced is coming back. So, uh, and I now that makes me think that we might not get Sung Woo in the rest. I think Sung Woo might have been set up for a season two. It's possible. Yeah, so I don't... I, I can see that. I thought... And I, I, I don't think this uh, Naju's kid is dead. Ne I think yeah, it's just I don't like, think so I think, either. I think Na Naju probably did that just because, like... I, I don't know how you that, could that, fake, that conversation, fake that she that had cancer, though. I have no idea that, how you do that. That. Uh, that I don't know, but, like, what's it called? Uh, fucking, um, that conversation in the hair salon, you know, that definitely kind of, like, said, I don't want you to live a life like I did, right? So she probably faked the death probably sent her somewhere to the u.s or some shit i mean she has the connection know, she was a black agent yeah. right so she would have the connections and and that, that there was a girl who was there at the funeral that like when they said the daughter now it makes sense why that guy said the daughter was dead because maybe they all think she's dead and then like that girl obviously was still her is this gonna be like a mask girl situation they faked her death and she got plastic surgery <laughs> i don't uh. i don't know but I also am leaning towards you. I, I don't want to commit anything <laughs> to get another thing wrong, but I I do think that she's still alive too. If we, I feel like all the younger generation kids are alive, right? I think that's what it was setting up. Like, Bung Man's kid, her kid, and then obviously Hisu, uh, Bum Sok, and uh, Gang Hoon. Like, like, the show is setting up for the next generation. It's kind of like... Also, no one's going to watch this part, but I'm just going to say it. I did recognize... Naju's kid as uh, she was in um, Midnight Runners. She's the, the girl who they saved at the end who showed up and thanked them. Oh, right? she was that girl? Oh, wow. She's I that didn't... girl, okay, yeah. yeah. She was a lot younger in Midnight Runners, right? Like a few years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I do know who you're talking about. I didn't know it was the same girl, but... So, yeah. I, I said it here even though someone will comment being like, <laughs> Hey, did you guys know? In the Patreon, <laughs> probably, yeah. The, those that grows and Midnight Runners, we could get a lot of those. But yeah, like I said, he did get it, so... Um, but yeah, this this was like more more or less another setup episode. Uh, like, we did progress, like you said, like, Mr. Yoon died. <laughs> uh, or it, did he? We don't know. Like, for all we know, he, he just could... stabbed in the throat! We don't know if he has a power or something, to be fair. Well, his dead body was, like, fucking... That's true, that's like, true. Like, underneath the desk. But nah, then he had, he had that quote shame. that, like, I didn't even get to do. So that's set up for something, right? That, the yeah, show doesn't just drop some... lines like that for yeah, no reason. Yeah, yeah. So, the question is, what was that set up for? Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna have next episode, Mihoon fighting the cleaner. How the fuck is that gonna go? Like, that's gonna be intense. Yeah, um, I... I... I mean, look, besides, like, the heightened senses, I'm, and she has a gun, obviously, I'm not 
I don't know how she does like physically wise. Well, she's a know, trained like... agent. She remember like when we got episode eight, she was like the top in her field, right? She beat she beat all the stuff. And the only reason she wasn't there because she faked her injury, like people told us during her mission, uh, like so, so that she, because she should, didn't. Is she like, uh, like, like Black Widow or something? I think that's what like it's implied. So she might be nasty, and I that would be it, okay. intense. I would, would like to see her pop off, but we have to see for the next episode. And I guess the last thing we can mention is is that we have four, potentially five, super powered North Koreans there because we don't know if they're all super powered, right? We're just assuming. But we we know we have a super strong, yeah. um, the, cl the the flight. flyer that is after Hisu and um, Bumsuck, and then yeah, we have we have two more right yep. that was with them, and then the beast. Whatever's in the trunk, <laughs> whatever's in the trunk. So there there's a lot there. Um, I wonder if Dusik is gonna show up. But if they're like like Mr. Min is like, you know what? We gotta release him to save. <laughs> we need help, like because they don't want the they don't want the kids to die, obviously. So if they can't stop him, they're gonna need to, because I feel like he has to come back into the story, right? Dusik has to. Yeah, has to. He can't just be trapped forever. Because so. it can't be five v two, unless our three, a virtual three of J Man comes in, true. and then like true. a virtual three point five of Gato comes back. <laughs> yeah, true. Right, and with electric, and then the kids, right? I don't know if the kids are gonna do something. But yeah, I feel like we'll all see. the adults have to come back, and like you said, the kids have to have their coming of age moment. This is like this is their moment here. Like that, yeah. that's why like Bumsock's opponent is like kind of set up to be a flyer. I feel like because it has to teach him to fly. Because to be fair, Bro, he's just a kid, and this kid, this guy is a fucking North Korean yeah, agent. He's, they're not gonna win. I, I would be shocked if he. Bumsock is fought. not gonna. No, they're he's, they're, they're gonna yeah. get beat. But I feel like it will like push him to at least like fly a little bit. Like I don't expect him to win, but I expect him to like. Gongun can do something though. Well, we, I think. Uh, maybe if well, we don't know how strong this other guy is, like his strength is probably exponentially higher than Gongun's. Maybe because of just like the wear and tear his body's been, and then all the calluses. But yeah, this show is heating up. This final arc is gonna go insane. These last four episodes, I can feel it, are just gonna be like a uh, one wild episode after the other, and I can't yeah. believe we're here. The final arc, basically, but. Yeah, that's gonna do it for us. The show has been amazing. Can't believe it's almost over. Let us know in the comments what you all thought. Don't roast us too bad about, like I said, the things we got wrong. If you get to this point, we're, we're trying here. We're, we're trying to get everything we can. Because the show does flash a lot of stuff, so it's hard to keep track of everything. But uh, yeah, don't forget to drop that like. And like Harris mentioned in the beginning, we do have a Patreon. So if you are interested in seeing our full-length reaction to this and the other shows on our channel, you can check out that link down below. You can also find other shows that are not on our YouTube. And yeah, anything you want to wrap up? It's one thing from the people who have already seen this versus the people who have not seen it. So, true, just true. saying. Um, yeah, be sure you like the video, subscribe, join the Patreon, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.